Now I'm going to show you how I wire for all-wheel pickup. Okay, so when this thing is put together, you know the way it comes from the factory, you've got your two trucks. One of them, this one, picks up from the axles of the wheels and brings up power from one side. This one, this one has an insulator on it and also brings up power from one side. All right, what I want to do is I want to make it so that all the wheels can bring power. We're going to keep the power here. So there's going to be three wires on this. We're going to keep the power here, but we're also going to add some pickup. The way we do that is with some phosphor bronze wire. This happens to be one of my favorite places to get stuff from is Tai Chi. Tai Chi Train Group. And it's $2.50 for a tube of phosphor bronze wire. Very useful stuff for doing what we're doing right now. Okay, so to do this, let me show you the GP20 first. Now, let's find a pair of glasses. I can show you what we did. So I have it facing forward. That means the red wire is towards me. Now on this one, this truck in its normal configuration picks up power from the red rail. You can solder the phosphor bronze to the top of the brass bracket and the wire to it. Easy. But on the other side, got a problem. Needs to be insulated. So on this one, I glued a tiny chip of styrene, put baking soda on it, then I glued the phosphor bronze wire with the wire on it, put some baking soda on it, and I've got my connection. And the, the phosphor bronze wire um, touches, touches the wheels, so we get some power. So the 20 is pretty easy. Now the 24 is a little more tricky. So on this one, I glued the phosphor bronze to next to the brackets instead of soldering it. Because if I soldered it, it wouldn't touch the wheels. It would be just a step too high. On the other side, though, I took some bubble wrap, you know, from anything that comes in bubble wrap, cut a piece off, and I made two little insulators, which, oops, are supposed to be glued on here. Now one of them has come loose again. All right, so let's, first let's put that guy back on there, and then we're going to glue the bronze wire on top of this that's already got my lead soldered to it and I bent the ends so they would touch the end wheels just a little better. Alright so first I need to get down here. These insulators can be hard to glue in place. Yep. Maybe not like that. Alright. So let's take a tiny bit of acetone. Of course I have a small brush for this but Clean the top first. Okay. Now, let's go ahead, take some super glue, put it on the end of an X Acto blade. Alright, then let's get some glue right where we want it. Take our tweezers, see if we can put this guy back on. Because that guy has already shown me that he will come off, let's add a little bit right there. A little bit, a little bit extra. 
extra right there. You can see that. Then let's go ahead, grab a bit of baking soda. Okay. I like using baking soda and super glue, as you know, because it gives me a nice strong bond instantly. I don't want to get a bunch of baking soda on the wheels, though, it's, you know, it's alkali. What's wrong with our bearings here? Okay, so make sure our bends are in line. Okay, now here comes the tricky part. Yep. You need to glue this guy. He cannot touch the side frames. Because they are energized. So let's see. Make sure your wires are facing the correct way. I'll show you where they're going to go as soon as I get this guy locked down. Yeah, my bearings are right. Again, this is going to be frustrating. This step is going to frustrate you, as it is frustrating me right now. Alright, I think I can do that one. Maybe. No. Nope. Her bend needs to be bent. Good. Okay. So now, let's go ahead. Drop some super glue here. And let's prepare to grab the baking soda. in there. Encapsulated. Okay, I think we got one. So now we're going to get this number two. Just going to add some super glue like that. Get him on his wheel set. Did we get him? Yeah. Everybody touching? Okay, I forgot to tell you, when you're using the phosphor bronze, when you take it out of the thing, get some sandpaper. Where's my sandpaper go? Right around here. Now I have some sandpaper. 
but you use some fine sandpaper like this, this 1000. Right? Cut off a little corner like that. Sand the phosphor bronze because it's it basically has a layer of oxidation on it no matter what. If you've left it for an hour, it's got oxidation in there. Let's take our ox guard now. <sighs> Go in and get our wire coated nicely and that will keep it oh no don't tell me we just bent that let's see if we can here's the thing once you get these in here it's really hard to get a good bend the right way without wrecking it okay Look down and see if he's touching. He's not. This is a very frustrating step. Also, he's getting him bent. So he's actually touching the wheel. Not prepared to cooperate. There. This is going to give us all wheel pickup. Now, we've got all of our wires on the correct side. Okay, forwards that way. All the reds are towards me. Blacks are away from me. In the frame. I'm going to use these two openings. I'm going to use these two openings in the back for the back wires. And I'm, I drilled two holes in, so that they're inside the cab and the, the front ones are going to come up for, through these holes. And I did the same on the GP20. Now we're going to have all wheel pickup, which we want for our super nice motor that we've got. And that's how you do it. That's And you I use this on, not just on brass. But on basically any locomotive I rebuild that doesn't have all-wheel pickup, this is a totally decent way of doing it, and it works. So, oh, here's my sandpaper right here. I clean the phosphor browns on this. All right, let's get ready to uh, do some assembly. 